Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. We are making good progress. I have been doing a bit of work uh, in between episodes, so let's go have a look at uh, that first. Oh, there's a summer sloop up there. I haven't seen that. So, what has happened? Well, first of all, I have expanded the iron smelting a little bit. So we now have three lines of iron smelting going and if we run up here i've made a little bridge up here where we can see what's going on in our factory so yeah so that is one thing that's happened and the other thing is we run in here this you've seen uh, our iron plate but over here i have set up some iron rod production and that looks a little bit different because if we look at a machine it takes 15 iron ingots per minute and 15 uh, iron rods per minute which means that we need 30 machines to make a full 450 belt i know that they have changed it to 480 but maybe i'll ex extend it so that it's 480 maybe not uh, i don't know uh, and the same with this one. Maybe. We'll see. I just like that it's 15. It's such a nice round number. Or semi-round, half round. I don't know. But all of this is actually set up and ready to go. And it's nice that we just need the one splitter. And it goes in on both sides. And that will make us a full or 50 belt of iron rods. All we need to do is hook, up, hook it up to some iron ingots and we're going to do that now. We're going to steal this one because it's not actually doing anything and neither is the second one actually I think. Is it? No it's not. The second one isn't doing anything either. So we have more iron smelting going than we need right now but we are going to need those because we need to make um, screws as well and screws will be a full line as well so let's see let's get this going I want we'll just steal this one for now and then when we expand we'll move over so Feel that. And that's too far away, I think. But I'm not sure. Let's try it. Right there. We go in there. Will it reach? No. Okay. Let's just put. Couple of holes right here. And there. So it seems like we'll have room for one, two, three, four, five, maybe six smelting lines. I think six smelting lines. And we'll have room for five over on the other side, uh, over in the production facility here. So, yeah. So, upstairs is going to be some kind of iron as well, I'm pretty sure. So, all we need now is for this iron to come through. Sorry about that, guys. The cat was walking all over my wires and turned off my monitor, so I couldn't see what the hell was going on. But we are getting this going now, and... These guys are producing. So, very nice. So, we are getting some pipes. Or not pipes, rods. So, that is great. So, the next thing is going to be setting up some steel smelting, I think. Because we need that for our some of our alternate uh, recipes so 
if we run upstairs here, I have made a roof for this floor. And upstairs here, we are going to make our forges. And these are not going to be, this is going to be an open platform because the big flying thing, the moth or whatever it's called, uh, actually comes in quite low over here. There it is. It comes flying in very low over this. So we can't build walls around this, I think. But it is what it is. So I have, if we look here, I have made ready. Uh, you can see it over here in the to-do list. I've made ready to make uh, 10 foundries. So let's try and set those up. Let's put foundries on eight. And let's see if we don't think we can put them this close to the edge. We have to move them over a little bit because what if we let's try it by putting one here and we need two inputs so if we put a splitter right here so this will interfere with walls if we do want them so we'll put it here and is that lined up no it needs to be it needs to be one in does it is it actually just like this let's see that is Okay, then we'll put another one on top, and will that go in there? No, is the answer to that. So we need to move it over a little bit. I wonder how much. Well, this was here. Let's try that and see. That'll go. Is it possible to maybe move it just one closer? Oh, it's there. Is that where we built it before? No. Is it? No. Oh. So this is doable. How does it look? It looks okay. It looks okay. So if we build 10 of these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we need a bunch of splitters. And the question is, do we want to... No, I, I think I want it like this so the bottom one is completely straight. So... Be there. Let's just make sure that that's right. There it is. Okay. So, more splitters. There. And there. 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 Okay, almost there. So, this will hopefully mean that we can reduce some steel very soon. 
We do need to get coal over here from somewhere. Uh, let's put in these. Actually, let's put in these first. Because this that is going to be easier. Wow. There. And put in some uh, power poles as well, I think. aren't straight either. Let's fix that. That's it. And where are we there? And again, I know that we really can't support these with the uh, with the belts that we have at the moment, but we will be able to support them, so that's what we're building for. A power pool there, and then over here. Here, here, and down here. Hmm, let's just do that. And all of this hooked up. We do need to get power up here as well. It's not a big issue. Just get the power up here so that we see that it's working. That means we need a foundation there and the power pole over here. And we can take that out and connect that up and connect that up. There we go. All of those are hooked up. And we need an output, of course. So do we want that on the floor, or do we want to lift it up? Hmm, that's a good question. I think we'll leave it on the floor. And there, I guess, is the right spot. I hope. Yeah. Okay. No mergers. Going in. And this is a full belt of input, but not a full belt of output. So it actually takes 15, well, 16 to make a full belt of output. If we do 480, but we're doing 450 and we're sticking to that for now. At least. these up. Oops. And soon we'll have steel smelting going. Okay. Once we get all the resources up here, of course. Don't actually have those going yet. It's gonna be quite a long way away to get coal, but we'll manage. We'll manage. Alright. 
So there we go. That's set up. And all of this is... Oh, I forgot to do the... Do we have enough iron for this? Yeah, more than enough. Actually, let's do the bottom one first. And then do this one. I think that'll be easier. Actually, it doesn't matter which one we do first. They're both, e both easy. So, apparently, I like doing the upper one first for whatever reason. Just for personal preference, I guess. Alright. So, there we go. Let's uh, stick down a lookout tower and just see what it looks like. Come up. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I like it. Whoa, that one is off. Are they all off? The last three are. I'll fix that later. Can't be bothered right now. And this over here looks pretty nice. Good view from up here, huh? Yeah, very nice view. Very nice view indeed. Okay. So, let's get down from here. I don't want to fall. We are going to fall. Alright. So that's those set up. And then we just need the resources. And we need both iron. We have two iron nodes down there. Which we can use. And then the copper we are going to have to bring from over here somewhere. If we just scan for coal. Did I say copper? I think it's a copper. I meant coal. We have coal over here somewhere. There it is. Ah, oh, there it is. 877 meters away. So, yeah. It's pretty far away, but it's fine. So I think I will hook that up, and then I'll be back. See you in a second, guys. So I have hooked up some coal, and here it comes, snailing its way up. And it's not pretty, and it's not how I would like to do it, but it's functional. So, we have the coal down here. In this crater, you might say. Looks like a bit of a crater to me. And we have two coal nodes down here. So I think they're normal nodes, I'm pretty sure. Let's just double check that. And yeah, two normal full nodes down here. And they come together on a belt. And run along all of this way. So let's just take a look at the insane path that this stuff is taking. It's absolutely crazy. And so it's coming along here. And... Whoops nuts there. Grab those. I love grabbing nuts. And up here, actually let's run on the belt. So it comes all the way up from the crater and runs along here. And we've already caught up with it because, yeah, Mark 1 belts, right? Uh, let's just get those leaves off our conveyor belt. Better. And it comes this way. Around here. And around here. It's uh, quite a path that I've taken with it. 
And over here, let's chop down this tree. And this tree. Here we go. We don't want all kinds of debris on the belt. And then it comes all the way along here. Through here. And along here. And down here. To the back of our base, you might call it. And we have the iron ending there. So let's see, can we put that up? No, it's too far. So let's just build a conveyor pole. Something like there. And now we should be able to. Yeah. So we will hook that up there. We will hook the coal up there. And if we run up, because it's too high for uh, one conveyor lift to be able to handle it. So we had it to do a little trickery. Get it up there. So we have one conveyor lift coming up here to the iron floor. And then we have a couple of, or two conveyor lifts, right? They're coming there. And then they are going up to the window above where the other stuff is coming in normally. So this is coming in and then it's going out. And then we have a conveyor lift going up to our steel smelting floor. So if we run up here and look. It's getting to be a pretty big base by now and it's not even close to big enough. Not even close. So here we have our two lifts coming in from down there. And the iron should be coming up anytime soon. It's running out here. And let's see. Here comes the first iron ore, and the coal is way off. It's not even close to being here, I think. Because that is a long way to go on a tier 1 belt. You can't even see it yet. That's insane. Can you see it over from over here? Yeah, we, we, we need faster belts. We can't even see it from over there either. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay. But it's a nice view at least. We don't need to have all of this stuff in hand anymore. A little bit. It looks nicer when you don't have that stuff in hand. Oh, hello there. So you can see the moth, or what it's called, is actually, let's just call it the moth. We'll call it the moth. And it dips down quite drastically there, so we can only build one floor more here, if that. I think uh, we can build one more floor, I'm sure. But that's it, that's as high as we go. Unless we build around it and then continue up or something like that. We could do that, let it fly through the base. Oh, we see the coal. There it comes. There it comes. Alright. So, I am going to let the coal crawl its way over here. And then I'll see you when it gets here. And let's see if we have set everything up correctly. So that it will start working. Be right back. The coal is almost here. It's coming there. Along. So, that's good and it'll come in and come up here. So while we wait for it to do that, I'm wondering, should we build out sideways here? Build out this way? Or should we build up more? Or should we build out this way? Maybe go above the trees? 
Or should we continue out this way? I'm not really sure. So the next thing is we're going to do screws up here on this floor because we need a lot of screws. So I think I'll just do one floor for screws. And then I don't know. Could the copper be over here on the side and then steel above or how to do it? I would love to hear your thoughts uh, of where you think that we should continue building. So please leave a comment and make your suggestions on how to uh, continue the build. You can either go basically northeast or, uh, well, southeast or northwest. So let me know what you think. Let's see, is it here yet? Not quite. Is it coming yet? Yes, it is. There it is. Coal on its way. Beautiful, beautiful coal. All right. Good. So then we need to. We need a conveyor pole stackable. Somewhere like here, I think. And we need a regular conveyor pole. And we'll do the iron on the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. That almost killed me. And is that gonna clip? That's gonna clip. I don't like it clipping. So how are we gonna fix that? I suppose, what if we did something like this? Whoa, will it go that high? I don't think so. It will! Cool. Alright, problem solved. And then we need to, to come over here. So going to need another stackable conveyor pole right here and another regular conveyor pole right there and is that going to be a 90 degree turn no so we need them um, those here there okay and where is it? There. And then we'll come around and build here. And here. That should do it. Okay. Not 90. That's not a 90 degree turn in any way, shape, or form. Mm. Well, that means that we need it here. Actually, we just need it there, I think. Let's try this. That looks fine. We'll just leave that. It's fine. And this should be nice. This. And the last bit. There we go. And we have both coal and iron running. Climb up on top of one of these and see. Yay! Materials are coming in, and we haven't configured the figures. Darn it. Okay.
did that. Yeah. Man, I hate when I forget stuff like that. Is that one over there configured? Yeah. And the last one. There we go. And we should have steel ingots, ingots coming down the line, and we do. Very good. So yeah, we have production of steel ingots. Outstanding. Okay. But that is all we have time for for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe? It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time.